Coming up, I want to share with you the complete beginner's guide to app store optimization for 2025 and hopefully beyond. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, the app marketing agency and YouTube channel that's going to help you break down complex concepts related to app marketing to help you grow your app downloads and revenues. And today, I want to do a step-by-step -step guide on App Store optimization for all you beginners out there. You're going to really understand what it's all about, what it's good for, what it's not, what to pay attention, and what to not pay attention. And one of our partners and a phenomenal ASO tool called asomobile.net. So without further ado, shall we get started? All right, here is the platform asomobile.net and you can save 40% off any of their plans by using the promo code appmasters40, appmasters40. Now, I'm gonna show you the exact process and the steps to follow whether you use asomobile.net or not. Okay, so you can follow along. This will still pertain. All right, so I picked an AI note taker app because I've always picked meditation, but now one of the most popular category of apps that we've seen and that we've been personally able to work with are AI note taker apps. So here in ASO Mobile, to get started, if you just have an app idea, you can pick an application that is one of your biggest competitors, all right? Pick that and put that into here. And so what I did here was I just picked on Otter. They are the number one app that shows up when I search for AI note taker in the app store right now. Okay, so first thing you wanna do, add your app obviously, check done. Next thing you wanna do, and that's really, really important, is keyword research. Especially if you're an indie developer or someone who's bootstrapping their app business, you really want to pay attention to this most important step, and that is keyword research. And luckily enough, ASO Mobile makes it really easy for us to do just that. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. All right, first off, when you have a competitor in here or even your own apps, you can go to app keywords. Now, the indexation tab shows you all the keywords that you're already ranked for. So pretty cool tool to kind of figure out. And then you can see how many keywords that Otter already ranks for. It's a lot. And it's really nice. And you can see the value of ASO, especially if you've been around for a long time, the value of ASO right here, because you can see they rank really well. Their brand, which, you know, for you indies out there, I have always stayed away from calling my app with a brand name because in the beginning, who cares? In the beginning, you might still feel that way, but overall, you should start thinking about a brand because as you can see with Otter, the search traffic right here, 43 of Otter is pretty much the same as AI Note Taker. And so the fact that you have a big brand and your brand out searches your most generic keyword, that means you have done a phenomenal job building an app business, right? You can see meditation space, calm and headspace have higher search scores than meditation in general. Now, for those who are not familiar with the search score, it's an Apple term that they put together. And from my data, all you have to do is try to find keywords around 30. Okay. That sweet spot is around 30, like 25 to let's say 39, because those tend to be enough traffic for you to start seeing dramatic results, but they tend to have lower competition. Whereas AI note taker for in this case might have really high competition here. So that's how you want to start looking at it here. And then the other thing is you want to try to identify. So what I will do is sort by search ads. And as you can see, Google as a comparison has 86. So I'm just looking down and I'm trying to really find the keywords around 30. Now, what you can also do is filter it and have different search scores. So I can say, let's say I want to do 20 all the way to 70, no, let's go 60, right? And then I can hit go and filter off that. And now it's already filtered off of this. And then I can see by complexity, which is ASO Mobile's own patented score of how difficult or competitive this keyword is. So we're trying to find, you know, for me, I try to find anything around 
under four if I can, right? Depending on which tool you use. So here are the keywords. No tuss, you know, might be interesting. Let's see. I'm trying to find some. Chad GPT. I don't know what's going to show up for that, right? We can take, take a look at this. Hit that eye icon. And you can see chat GPT comes up. So maybe some people are accidentally putting Chad GPT. All right, that's another way to check here. So you're just trying to find new keywords around this, right? And trying to figure out, all right, what has traffic? What has low competition that I might be able to go after, all right? So for this case, it might be transcription. It might be free note-taking app. Those are the keywords that I want to target. Now, let's say those are the keywords you want to target. So I've checkmarked these, right, right now. And then I'm going to add them here for me to monitor. So I can do without a group or I can add my own group, right? So it's without a group is fine because ultimately what you're trying to do is find six to 10 keywords that have that search score around 30 so that you can try to really optimize for those keywords. And then with six to 10, you can focus two at a time and then rotate to figure out there's enough in there to rotate and try to find the two that you can rank really well for and hopefully one to two, right? You wanna rank number one or number two for those two keywords. And that's how we've been able to really kickstart apps is like just focusing on the 10 and within that 10, focusing on the two. And if those two don't work, we'll switch them out for another two and try to figure out which one is gonna work as well. Next, while sticking to this app keyword side of things, I wanna go into competitors a bit. So here are the competitors and these are the keywords for which competitors are ranked in the top 10. And you can add your own competitors too. But before you do that, I want to show you something really cool. All right. So here, let's just say I want to try to find keywords around 30 again. So I'm going to sort by this. And I'm going to say transcribe as an example. Right. So I can click this little chart. And then this chart will show me the results for transcribe. Now, you can easily start to then add these as competitors. Right. I'm like, hmm, what is this app? Hmm, what is this app? slow down music as a transcribe. That seems interesting. Maybe I'll find some interesting keywords, speech to text. This is definitely something that I want to look. So I can start adding these as competitors, and this will help populate even more keywords in this competitor tab. And now you can sort by complexity and try to find some interesting keywords that have enough traffic like this transcriptor that you might be able to rank for. Because just using this little chart and to see the live results, you can find some interesting keywords. As long as they have traffic, you're like, oh, I never even thought about it. So it's a way to really use your competitors and find different keywords that they might be ignoring. Sticking to the app keyword side of things, the keyword research phase, I want to show off one other section. It's the keyword finder right here. It may take a little bit of load. That's because ASO Mobile is going through all the keywords. It loaded. And then now I can sort by all keywords, by popular, relevant, long tail, low competitiveness, and so forth, right? It's another great way to find the keywords that are relevant to your particular app that have a little bit less competition, but enough search score, right? Competition under four or three, you're going to have to figure that out because every ASO tool has a different competitive score. What I generally like to look at is the live search results. And so going back to this keyword, Chad GPT is really looking through a keyword and then figuring out the top five or so results and seeing how many reviews they have. Now with the misspelling like Chad GPT, you want to be careful and really look at the live results because sometimes Apple, so use your iPhone in this case, sometimes Apple will auto correct Chad GPT and show results for chat. GPT, right? And that, if they do that, then it is not a good keyword for you to go after because it's really chat GPT that is going to be the keyword that you should be targeting. So this gives me an indication of whether I should go after this keyword or not. Well, let's put subscribe here while we're at it because I, you know, we did see that that was a pretty interesting keyword. And so here you can see, all right, 9.5, 4.6, but there's this keyword that has zero ratings and zero. So this is my sort of back of the napkin math that transcribe should be a pretty low competition term, right? It should be based off the search results. So I'm really looking for the top five and trying to find 
apps that don't have a lot of ratings, that usually is an indication of low competition. All right, now that you've done some keyword research and hopefully you found your sweet six to 10 and you're really paying attention and monitoring them, you wanna really start building out your ASO. That means optimizing your title and your subtitle for those six to 10 keywords and then your keyword fields as well as your description. Now the description doesn't matter as much on iOS as it does on Google Play, but description on iOS may help your SEO rankings. There are times when Google, let's say I search for transcribe or better yet, transcribe app has volume and within the Google search results, Google will show their own, using their own algorithm, search results for transcribe app as an example. So that might be a case where you might try to optimize your description to make sure you start ranking for transcribe app as an example. For my early data, it feels like Google long as will prioritize the title, right, of the app. So hopefully transcribes in the title. And then it usually is the number of ratings that determines Google's search results for apps that they show on their mobile web or desktop web search results, right? But it is still a good channel to drive downloads. All right, let's put together our ASO. ASO one bill makes it easy. Go to ASO creator right here. All right, when you're in ASO creator, the cool thing is the different keywords that we're targeting, right? For now, I have these keywords. ASO mobile will show me where they're being used. So Otter transcribe voice notes. If I really wanted to go after AI note taker for Otter, they have it here, which helps, right? So this is where there's value in running ads and building up this brand because even despite a not fully optimized title and subtitle, Otter is ranking really well for AI note taker, right? Which has really good traffic. It's a 43 and they're number one. So let's say I wanted to go after minutes too, then I might just change this to minutes recorder. And now I have a combination of AI because it's in the subtitle and minutes here too. Now I'm two keywords over. So I might just call this AI note taker, right? And then minutes record, or maybe I, I just call it transcribe minutes. Nope. Minutes. Maybe I go AI note taker and minutes and record minutes. Boom fits perfectly there. You could also, you kind of want to put AI note taker up here, but I'm going to stick with what they have here. All right, now let's move on to your keyword section. And this is for, and this makes it really easy, right? If you have all the six to 10 keywords that you're targeting, the main thing you want to do, and I just learned this recently, is try to stay as focused as possible with your keywords, right? So right here, I'm going to go after AI note taker, maybe transcribe and record minutes, but I want to stay away from dictation as an example, right? So I wanna get as focused for keywords. Now, if you have a big brand like Otter, again, it won't matter. As you can see, mediocre ASO will do well when you have a brand and you have other paid marketing channels. But for us indies and bootstrapped app founders, you really wanna stay as focused as possible. So I'm running some tests right now where I'm just gonna pick the 10 that I'm targeting right here. So for example, right here, I wanna put audio to text. I get this question a lot. Should I put audio comma to comma text or audio to text comma? I don't think it makes a difference. I haven't seen any big changes because of that one change. Okay. So play around with it and decide what you want to do. I'm going to put transcript in here too, because that covers it. And you can see once I start using the word ASO mobile starts highlighting it, which makes my life so much easier, right? So speech I want there. Sometimes having app and free does help out a lot more. And then I'm put notebook. And this is what I mean by being as targeted as possible. Now I'm only targeting the 10 keywords. As you can see, I had a hundred characters. I can fill it out if there are still other keywords that were relevant to this AI note taking space, but I really want to make sure it's as targeted and relevant. Like if the word cloud, think of a word cloud with me, I want that word cloud to be as dense as possible. All right. I think that's what's going to make the difference for ASO in the future, especially when you do not have a big paid marketing budget. All right. The last piece 
of it now that you're launched, you really just want to go and pay attention to your dashboard. Here it is, ASO dashboard right here. This is where you would go in to really pay attention to the keywords that you're dominating. You can see here 144 in the top one for Otter. Congratulations, man. So you want to really pay attention to that. Sometimes with these ASO updates, we'll see a lot of keywords move back and forth between the two. Obviously, these two columns, top one and top five, are the keywords that you should be focusing on. And then here you can see the different types of keywords that are ranking well for this app, right? The ones that have the most traffic and where they're ranking for. So it's another way to discover new keywords or really pay attention to the keywords that you have to most pay attention to, right? This is why I would give up voice memos because, you know, it's an Apple product and you're probably never going to rank for it. All right. Minutes is definitely one that I want to go after. So if I were optimizing Otter, I might put minutes in there instead of voice notes as an example. All right. So that's a great way to do it. The other thing that I want to focus in on is the keyword monitor side of things. And these are the most important keywords, right? And these are the ones that I usually try to pay the most attention to because getting to number one is hard and trying to maintain number one is even harder too. So you really want to pay attention to these rankings and make sure any new update, you're paying attention to the ratings, but just getting two into the top one. So for example, here, note taker and AI note taker for indies along the search scores around 30, that's enough for a six figure business. That's it guys. The complete beginner's guide to app store optimization, better known if you want to be a cool kid as ASO. Once again, Thank you to our partners, asomobile.net, for helping me kind of guide you through the entire ASO journey and using their tool as well. And if you want to check out their tool and all the different features they have to help you with your ASO, use the promo code appmasters40, appmasters40 in the checkout, and you'll save 40% off any of their plans. And they have some free plans too. If you just want to do some keyword monitoring, get some keyword traffic, volume. So you can use that little hack that I showed you along that keyword has 30 and you feel like, Hey, I've never heard of this keyword. Do that search like you do right here, keyword monitor or here. This thing is what I'm talking about. When you click this little, uh, that little finders icon, you can see AI note taker as an example, and you could see which apps show up in the top charts. So not, maybe this one's not bad, right? You see number six AI note taker, not bad. You might be able to go after it. But the number two app, which has a note taker, is Wave. And you want to be careful because they have 7.5. And he's a past podcast guest of mine. So you can get started for free because you can see at least the keyword volume and then look at the search results to see what the complexity might be. But check out their indie. And if, again, if you want to save 40% off any of these plans, use the promo code at masters40. All right. If you got any questions related to ASO, just leave a comment below. And if you're enjoying these videos, we'll make sure you hit that thumbs up. And subscribe because we go live every Friday, 9 a.m. Pacific, and we really break down what's working in the app space, whether it's a podcast guest or we share some of our strategies. All right, until next time, I'll see you on the next video.